a very good question you've asked, Jean. You said, I believe that I am my sin. I am this ugly, horrid, self-righteous, arrogant, angry, hateful person, so angry at God, blaming him that I'm so blocked to even actually facing my truth about sin. Yeah, this is a, it's a common thing. So that's the first thing we need to say. The fix to this problem is to see things as God sees it. Right? Now, the way God sees it is this. Uh, yep, thanks. Imagine this is your nice, pristine half of the soul that God created, right? That's Gene. And what's happened during your life is that you and other people have sort of, I don't have a brown one, but. Here, I'll get it. Do we have a brown one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think we do. Don't? No, I don't think we do. No. Imagine this is brown. <laughs> We're throwing a whole heap of mud at Gene. Right? Now, sometimes it was your parents who threw the mud, and a lot of times it was you who threw the mud at yourself. You know, we do silly things, right? And like we say later in this course, you know, you see the illustration we had about jumping in the mud. We're not content with just throwing mud. <laughs> We've got to get in it and roll around it like a pig in a sty, right? So that's what we do. And so we get covered in mud. Our soul gets covered in mud. Now, the problem is, by the time we reach adulthood, we have this tendency to believe that the mud and, you know, that is on us is actually us, which is really what you're saying, right? And it's, it's not a truth because it's just mud on us. And this is what we need to see. If I splattered you with mud now, with your nice clothes on, whatever, and I just got a, splattered you with mud, would you go, now that's me and I'm going to stay like that the rest of my life? No, you wouldn't, would you? You'd go, oh, I'm a bit dirty. I think I'll just go home and chuck the clothes in the wash and you know, have a shower and get myself clean, wouldn't you? That's the attitude you need to have to your sin. I can chuck myself in the wash, get myself clean, throw myself in the shower or the bath, get myself clean. If you have the other attitude, can you see that it's highly unlikely you'll even start to attempt to get yourself clean? Because you already believe that it's just dirty to the core, so how are you ever going to clean it? You're never, not even going to try. Do you see what I'm saying? So a lot of it's about getting God's perspective about your sin. When we believe the sin is ourselves, we haven't got God's perspective about the sin. You know? For all of the people who have returned to earth, we were in a completely clean, pristine state. And the moment we came to earth, we immediately became dirty again. Right? And the contrast between where we were and where we are now is so great that all of the people who returned have this terrible viewpoint of themselves, like just terrible amount of shame about their condition. But what I've found for myself is that you have to let yourself see that it's just mud on you that can be washed off. If you don't see it like that, you're not even going to try to wash it off. And you're going to get very angry with everybody and everything. You're not even going to attempt to clear it all. Make sense? Yeah. So the good attitude to have is this mud can be cleaned off of me. Sure, I might have had mud thrown at me initially and then I might have even decided to roll around in the mud a bit. But I can get out of the mud and have a wash. In most Western nations, they've had a Christian background. Even if they're not Christian now, their history, their multi-generational history is Christian. As a result of that, there's this very strong feeling in, in a lot of Christian society that we're born a sinner, we die a sinner, we're dirty inside, from inside out, we can't be trusted and all of these kind of feelings are quite prevalent in society that has had a Christian background. The problem with those belief systems is they basically tell you there's nothing you can do about the situation of sin. 
right? Somebody else has to do it for you. And in fact, the whole Christian teaching is Jesus' blood saves you from your sin, which is basically saying someone else had to do something for you. In this case, God had to do something for you to save you from your sin. And nothing could be further from the truth. There's no need for God to save you from your sin because you can save yourself from your own sin. That's easy enough to do once you understand the process. But the problem with the belief is it stops you from even trying. And this is the problem with this belief that you're holding on to, that it stops you from even trying. So you need to have a more loving, compassionate and patient view of yourself. And you need to just see that actually you need to feel eventually the truth from God that Gene is pristine. The soul of Gene is pristine. And it's just absorbed some impurities that Jean can choose to release and that God will help her release if she chooses to release them. Yep. But if you hold on to the idea that you are the mud, that you are the impurities, then it's highly unlikely you're going to ask God to help you release them. You're also probably going to blame other people and God for putting them there in the first place. This is what our viewpoint would be. And it's highly unlikely you're going to take any real action to remove them, which is, means that you're just delaying your own happiness in the long term. Make sense? Yes. So my suggestion is talk to God about how he sees Gene. Right? And you'll be surprised to know that God sees the mud as separate to Gene. He doesn't see the mud, the, the sin, as gene. He sees the sin as sin. It's a separate thing, a separate entity even. It's a thing that's entered you, whether you've allowed it to enter you, whether it's been forced upon you or whether you chose it, it entered you. But it can just as easily exit you, get out of you as it got in. And this is what we need to remember. Yes, thank right, you. That's a good question. How many others of you felt that way that like sin is just yeah quite a number so